Hey guys, Joshua Bantech, and I'm very excited to do this video because it's the first ROM that I'm putting on my new Moto X Developer Edition with Verizon, and it's the Pac-Man ROM, and it just got released overnight, and like all the builds and all that kind of stuff have just been released, and I'm really excited to get this put on. So I'm going to walk you through the whole steps, all the processes that you got to go through to get a clean install and all that jazz. So first of all, we're going to you know, download all the links and I'll have all that stuff in the description of where to get it. So you're going to have two files to download. You're going to have the, the ROM file and then also the G apps. Make sure that you get those two files and have them ready to go on your device. Or it could be like Josh McAllister, what would Josh do and have his OTG and that's how he installs all his stuff. I've got one on order so I'm actually really pumped about being able to use an OTG to upload files and stuff like that. and basically free up space on my device. Anyways, I'm going to go to Flashify and reboot into recovery from there. Just a little quick easy way to do it. Now normally I have exposed framework installed but I just updated the system and all I can set to 4.4.2 so I wasn't able to put the little shortcut for the advanced menu. But I wasn't going to worry about it because I'm fixing to wipe this thing and it's going to be gone anyways. So first of all, the most important thing that you can ever do is make a, an Android backup. So let's go to backup, and we're going to swipe to backup. We'll let it do its thing, and I'll be right back with you. All right, so the backup is complete. So we're going to hit the back button, or we're going to hit the home button. And at this point, we're going to go to wipe. So we're going to wipe, go into wipe, and we're going to do the Dalvik data and cache and swipe to wipe and let it do its thing. It shouldn't take too long. Wipe was successful, so we're going to hit back. Just go ahead and hit the home button again. Now we're going to go to install and we're going to find the PacMoto MSM nightly. Select that. And you have the option to add more zips, but I just feel more comfortable just doing one at a time. So this is where it's going to load the ROM. Again, don't do anything, just let it do its thing. And it actually doesn't take too long to do, so I'm going to go hit back again. And now we're going to go to the G apps and swipe to flash it. And you definitely want to make sure that you do that because if you don't flash the G apps it's just going to throw your system way off. You're not going to be able to get the Play Store or anything like that going. Anything Google. And once that's all done just hit reboot system. And there's my favorite little message there. I just love saying that. Unlock bootloader. And we got our sweet Pac-Man boot animation. Really excited about this. This has been like probably my favorite ROM of all. When I had my Galaxy S4, the unlock bootloader on Verizon, it was just amazing. I love it. Um, it's a combination of like the top AOSP ROMs. It's just really awesome stuff. I think AOKP is my next favorite as far as AOSP stuff goes. And then other ones to check out is like Eclipse, um, Nitroglycerin just, just does amazing work with everything that he does. Alright, so we're greeted with the typical AOSP welcome screen, so I'm going to get logged in, put all my info in, and I'll be right back with you. So this is actually pretty neat. When you are about to get to your home screen, you get the choice of doing Launcher 3 or the Google Now Launcher. So if you're interested in learning what the Google Now Launcher is like, you can select that. I'll end up putting Nova Launcher back on, 
just because that's just what I'm used to and there's some pretty sweet icon packs like Minimal by Bladex Designs and Your Deep. I'm just going to hit just once for now just to get through some of this stuff. So we have a Pac-Man ROM wallpaper in the Google Now launcher. When you swipe to the left hand side you get Google Now. So you don't actually have to install the widget. So that's pretty cool. So yeah guys here's the ROM and let's just walk through some of the settings kind of get you familiar with what that looks like if you've never seen it before. I'm just going to go from the top and go all the way to the bottom just to kind of give you a brief overview of what everything looks like. you got your typical wireless and network stuff. Um, basically not too much anything that you want to mess with. Personalization, you got home so we can do the different launchers so if you do install a different launcher that should show up here. And I'm just going to hit the Google Now for now. Too much now. But <laughs> anyways, let's go to lock screen. We've got security, slider shortcuts, button actions. Just select a few of these. This is basically shows you the different shortcuts that you can do. Button actions, home lock, pressing the home button locks the device. Obviously, you have to have a button to do that kind of stuff. Um, you got long press home action, and then also back. So this is where you can kind of set up different stuff. You can do flashlight, go to sleep, toggle sound, play music, stuff like that. So really neat. Basically, like, you know, with these kind of ROMs, there's a lot of different stuff, a lot of different options in here. If you're familiar with Exposed Framework, there's a lot of those kind of options in here. And Exposed Framework, you know, not to get onto another subject or rabbit trail, but like if you don't like ROMs or if you don't want to load a ROM and you want some of these features, use Exposed Framework. Alright, so battery status. Only when charging, always on or always off. Get custom widgets, camera widget, clock widget, maximize widget, slider torch, double tap and hold the slider to start the torch. Pack in black, so basically if you can't tell, like there's a little blue hint kind of thing going on. If you turn that on, it just turns everything black. You know, kind of pretty simple explanation there but I actually like the black it looks really clean and minimalistic to me I like it better if you have themes downloaded you can actually put those on there and load them from here pack palettes let's see status bar basically this is what exposed framework stuff looks like so it's such deep customization with this kind of stuff it's just amazing um, I'll probably have to do a different or a separate video to go through all this stuff but like if you like circle battery you can do that um, show the percentage I like to show the percentage location if you want to move it around color goodness gracious there's just so much options here it's ridiculous breathing SMS that's pretty sweet uh, breathing SMS call that's like if you have a notification light which this phone doesn't have that so I'm not gonna worry about that kind of stuff let's see what else we got progress bar that's pretty awesome. Um, anytime you see a progress or status bar, you're going to see the Pac-Man style. That's really cool to me. I like that a lot. Quick settings panel. This is actually really neat. I like it a lot. The quick pull down, basically. Normally, if you just pull down from here, you only get the one view. Or you have to use two fingers to get all the shortcuts but all you have to do with this is pull from the right hand corner and it gets to you to all of your stuff so I like that a lot Let's see what else, with tiles, layout, you can change the order of everything sound modes, screen timeout modes here's all your tiles that you can put there, flip tiles on touch, that's pretty cool let's see yeah I like that a lot, that's pretty cool I like that tile flip. That's pretty awesome. Let's see what else we got here. I'm trying to make this as quick as possible. There's just so much to look at. It's just like this is my favorite ROM. I like it a lot. It takes uh, Paranoid Android, AOKP, and Cyan Jamon and puts them all in one ROM. It's just freaking awesome. All right. Let's see what else we got. Notification drawer. Lots of cool stuff here. Change your carrier label, lock screen notifications. 
Yeah, we'll do that. Pocket mode, turn the screen on. So that's pretty cool. This is Moto X, you know. I do like the active notification, so I do want to get something like that back on here. So I'm pretty I'm digging that option. A lot more customization. Just basically everything on this phone you can just active display. Yes. I want that. Lobe. Hmm. Yeah, we'll leave that. All notifications, might as well. Pocket mode, yes. Notifications only. That sounds good. Sunlight mode. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. I'll have to check that out later. Ready play notifications. Uh, I have to find out what that's about. You can exclude an application, show the date, show a.m. and p.m. Display timeout. Gosh dang, there's just so much to do here. <laughs> you can spend hours just playing around with this stuff and trying to figure out what you want to do, just discovering what what all you can do. App bar, let's see what they're... Let's see... Just going to leave that alone for now. Gesture anywhere. That's a pretty neat little feature. That's another video for another time. Identicons. Goodness gracious. Some build props. Got weather. You turn the weather on to display it throughout the ROM. Status bar, so yeah, really neat. I typically don't really care about looking at the weather too much anymore. I'm indoors most of the time now, so <laughs> the weather's always the same indoors, right? Recent apps panel. I like the clear all button, clear all positions, pretty cool. Let's see, navigation bar dimensions, navigation bar, navigation ring, left hand mode, that's pretty neat. Suspend actions. Alright, let's go back. That was just one option here. Uh, pack console. ROM updates and stuff like that. So that's going to be, if there's an update, you can download it from there. Here, basically, you're going to have some of the normal settings that you are used to seeing. Just all your sound options here. Turn the camera sound off. I don't like that. I'm probably going to, myself, I'm going to go through more of these options later, but I just kind of want to give you an idea of tap to pay. That's cool. Uh, an idea of like what all kind of stuff you can do. Profiles, you know, homework, school, um, on the go kind of stuff. Location on. Yeah, we'll keep location on. Some of the normal settings that you're just used to seeing. Let's go to about phone just to check that out. You got some more, you know, pack swag. Definitely still on 4.4.2. This is the Alpha 1 version, AOK Pure version, Cyan Jamon version, Paranoid Android version. So, yeah, there you go. That's pretty much all the settings there, just really cool stuff. I'm looking forward to getting this all set up. This is definitely probably going to be my daily driver ROM. Um, I'm probably going to make a backup of it so I can go back to it, show you guys some different modifications on different stuff like Express Framework and whatnot. So be on the lookout for those kind of videos too. But yeah guys, this is the general overview of uh, Pac-Man ROM. It's just one of my favorite ROMs. I'm excited about having it on my phone. Um, be looking for more videos like this. Tell me what you think. Is this something that you've used in the past? Were you excited about getting it downloaded and put onto your device and whatnot? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. If you thought that this video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so so you can see more videos like this. One of the things that Pac-Man does is they include some of their own wallpapers. So you can go through these, kind of download some different styles, but you got their own kind, which is a ton. They have a bunch to choose from, so it's really neat looking. I haven't used it in a while, so I'm kind of curious if there's any new ones. So we'll scroll down here and see what they got. I think I actually used to use that one there. Might go back to it depending on what else I see.
So far pretty cool looking stuff. For the most part rather minimalistic, which that's what I like anyway. So I'm actually going to go back to this guy here. I kind of like that flat, colorful look. So, actually, I don't like that font. I'm going to go back to the other one. This one looks good. Wallpaper set. See, Nova Launcher came through already, so I'm actually going to go back to that. Hit always. And there it is.